Okay, so can I ride him? E to ride. Yes! <laughs> I am literally riding the Triceratops right now. How's it going gamers? It's the final render here and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We're going to carry on our adventure in paradise and hopefully have a lot of fun. This is the second video in the series. Oh my god, look at that fucking Tyranodon up there. <laughs> I love this. So, this is our base that we started building in the last video. I have been playing quite a bit to kind of grind out some of the things we need to unlock to build a proper base and get some of the equipment we'll need for today's video. So let me give you a little bit of a tour of the building so far. We'll go ahead and enter our front room right here. We have got ourselves all the basic stuff we need to play the game. This originally was made of thatch, it's now made of wood. We've got ourselves a proper bed now, so it's not a single-use bed anymore. We've got ourselves loads of storage. We've got one for, like, narcotic stuff. We have got one for berries and food. We have got one for building materials. We've got one for, like, rocks and metal building materials. And then one for general building objects and inventory stuff. We've also got a fire in here. Big old frigo. And, uh, oh, I actually need to cook some meat. Boom. Frigo, frigo. Hot, hot fire. We have got ourselves a mortar and pestle where I've been making narcotics. Not like as some black tar heroin stuff, I mean tranquilizers for dinosaurs, because we'll need them in this video. And then further back here, we've got an area which I haven't quite finished yet, which has a trap door and a ladder system. And then this leads us to another room, which I think I'll eventually turn into like a bedroom area. Just a bit of a nicer area, separate, with a lovely little balcony, which maybe we could put some tables or some smithing equipment on and stuff like that. You know, I think that'll be pretty sweet. And overall, I think it's a really nice place. So in this video, we have to rank up just a little bit because pretty soon we will be able to go down and unlock ourselves the Trank Arrows. And the Trank Arrows you can see right here need to be level 21 and I'm currently at level 20. We get the Trank Arrows and then we can actually start taming a Triceratops. We will have a pet Triceratops and I really want to have my first pet dinosaur. I can go and tame a Parasaur right here if I want to, but really... Triceratops is my boy. That's the one I really want. So we've just leveled up. And the first thing we need to do is... I don't know. Let's put it into movement speed. Why not? We need to get these Trank Arrows. These are the things which people say make everything easier. Oh, we can also make metal stuff now. Once I get a refining forge. That's a smithy. That'll be quite cool. So let's get the Trank Arrows there. And, uh... Ooh. Sh should I get a wooden table? I need to get some other requisites as well. But yeah, let's get a wooden table. And a wooden chair. Nice. Brilliant. So to make a trank arrow, I need narcotics and stone arrows. I have 92 stone arrows right now, and I've been saving up a lot of narcotics. So let's go make some trank arrows. There's no place like home. Let's go enter me little structure right here. Turn me fire off. That's probably been cooking for a while, hasn't it? Oh uh, yeah, it's got some meat in there. Need some of that. Okay, right on time. Hungry, hungry. Yum, yum. Right, so trank arrows. I need to get the narcotics out of here. I actually found one in a resource area, in a little um, drop pod kind of thing. But there, I've got the narcotics, and I've already got the stone arrows. So how many can I make, I wonder? I presume I'll need a lot to take down a dinosaur. Ooh, I can make 27. Let's make 27 trank arrows right here. And then what you do, you hit the dinosaur with a trank arrow, feed it a bunch till it becomes your friend, put a saddle on it, and then you can ride it. I want to ride my little triceratops. It's going to be awesome. So now I've got regular trank arrows on this thing. Excellent stuff. Now with the trank arrows, I also need to make myself a saddle, don't I? So let's go and see what I need for a triceratops saddle. This is the one I've unlocked right down here. I need 80 fiber, 140 hide, and 25 wood. Wood's not a problem. How much hide do I have? I have been gathering it over time, haven't I? Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, 200 right there. Perfect. And I've got a load of fiber here as well. Oh, that's thatch, isn't it? Sorry. I need fiber. There we go. 200 fiber. Okay. So, let's do it then. Triceratops saddle. <laughs> I have no idea what I have to feed the triceratops in order to make it be friendly to me. I presume berries. Because you can't exactly give it like thatch and stuff, can you? There's my triceratops thing. So let's grab all the types of berries I've got. Let's go and just carry them all with me. Hey there, Trikey. What have we got here then? Let's go take a closer look. We have got a wild male, a level 8. Okay, level 8. Let's go see what the other one is. This is a level 4 male. Okay, so it's looking like we're going for the level 8 male then. I hope this works. I presume he's going to be very aggressive. Let's give it a go. Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec, I forgot a crucial step. We need to bowler him. 
You've got these little rocks on a thing called a bowler, and this will, I believe, freeze him in place. <gasps> yep. Oh no, it didn't freeze. It didn't work. Oh no. Ah. No, 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 Troiki. I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend. We're going to be the best of all best friends. Can't get me up here, can you, Troiki? Oh, he's slowing down. Be my friend. Friendship arrows. Friendship. Friend. Friend. He's running away like a little baby. Quickly. I can't let him fall unconscious in the water, though. Oh, he did. He freaking fell unconscious in the water. Okay, quickly. How do I do this, then? Feed him berries. Feed him berries. Feed him all the berries. So is that good? Am I taming him? I am not taming him. What do I have to give him? Does he eat thatch or something then? Maybe that's what he eats. Maybe he doesn't eat berries. Let's go quickly get some thatch and hope he doesn't drown. Here we go. He's still here. He's not dead yet. Oh, it is taming though. It did say it was taming. Again, let's give him the fiber and the thatch and... St oh! He's dead. He friggin' drowned. Well, that sucks. What's up gamers? It's been a few in-game days after the last attempt to try to tame a Triceratops and things have changed. We've actually been able to let all of the meat spoil we had in order to make some more narcotics. I now have, ooh, I have 10 narcotics on me and I've made some more Trank arrows. So we should be able to actually drop the dinosaur no problem along with lots of the berries to feed it in order to make it join our side. But the base has also changed a little bit. We've like unlocked a table and stuff, which looks very nice. I've added a couple more of the walls we were missing. We got a ladder. And of course, now we have smithing equipment. We can now make metal tools. And it's really nice to finally have these metal tools because the thing with this game is that it's a very slow grind. But as soon as you unlock the tools you need by grinding a lot, it makes the grind much easier. So using these metal tools, it is much easier to get Thatch, wood, meat, hide, all that other stuff. But one thing, which is still a huge problem to get, is berries. Primarily, narco berries, which I use to make the sick narcotics. The, that dark black tar heroin. Well, really, I just mean tranquilizers, of course. And that's what you use to tame dinosaurs. However, with triceratopses, you get a way to get more berries. Because triceratops are food gatherers. So you're able to use the triceratops like farming equipment in order to get more berries. So... The further we do things, the better we become, the better we should be overall. And I did just see a Triceratops fighting something. Yes. Well, hopefully I can make that Triceratops my baby. You know, as long as it doesn't get killed. It, it, they killed it, didn't they? Yeah, something killed it. All those dead full of spindly killer fish. Okay, so what killed the Triceratops? It looks like a big scary angry thing, whatever it is. It's probably a Velociraptor. Do I dare try to shoot the Velociraptor from here? You know what? Let's just look for a different Triceratops. <laughs> I don't want to go over there. Scary. There are sometimes trikes over here. We do have these two Brachiosaurus. They've always been here. Those good guys. I love these Brachiosaurus. They're my chums. I'm going to name them Hank and Marvin. And we have also got lots of those smaller ones like Parasaurs and stuff like that. Oh, not you. Not you. Did he steal my bow? He took my friggin' bow. I hate these birds. They steal your stuff. Oh no, I just dropped it. He knocked it out of my hand. Get back here, you turd. Gotcha, bitch. Whew. Down goes the beast. These things are awful. These itchy thornest things. They steal your stuff from your inventory. Ah, well, I got him. Slayed him, no worries. Where's that trike? No triceratops on this side. In fact, I see one. I see one right over there. Near to where that velociraptor was. He's a velociraptor, you know, you know, he, he's got a short attention span. He'll swim off to do something else. Swim off, run off. <laughs> they can swim now. What the? He stole my berry. You see what I mean? They just freaking take your stuff, you know? This is what I've been saying all along. You can't trust those itchy thornesses. Going in here, taking our jobs and our Ooh, berries. Oh, I got you on Kuro. Turd face. Excellent. Tranked him once. Tranked him twice. Three times. Let's run away for a bit. Oh dear, he's right behind me, isn't he? Jump up. Oh, but. 
All right, there he is. There he is. He's trying to get around, though. How can he get me up here? He sent me flying the sausage. All right, get a little higher still. Use my human brain. Use my big thinking human brain. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You can't get me up here, surely. Surely not. Don't call him Shirley. Yeah, we got a level 22 male. So he's a big boy. Very big boy. Last one I think was much lower level. Alright, that's half my tank arrows. Again, you know, let's wait a little bit. Let the drugs take effect. Oh, here he comes. Oh, Lord, he's coming. See, that's why we're the dominant species. Because we're smart, unlike you. We use our smart thinking human brains. You have small, tiny, horny brain. Well, <laughs> stay there, Dino. Don't you dare run away into the ocean. If you if you fall unconscious in the water again, I swear to God, I will murder your best buddy. Is he coming back? No, he's made it across. Okay, let's take my time a little bit. Let's stalk him for a while. This is like proper classic deer stalking now. You know, let's take our time with him. <gasps> Where's he gone? There he is. There he is. Okay, I thought I lost him for a second. I've got a dilo right over here. Drop this Dilo before he kills my Triceratops prey. But I can't aim because there's a freaking Brachiosaurus stimper stomping everywhere. What? Okay, he's gone anyway. He's gone for now. Let's get back to our big boy right here. I've only got eight Trank Arrows left. Oh, I hope this is enough. I really hope this is enough to take the sucker down. Okay, well, that's three in there. Run! Run! Why couldn't I move? What the hell? Oh, that was a high pitch. Okay, let's uh, quickly get back to my bed. Grab my stuff. Hit him with the last of my track arrows and hope he goes down. Almost there. Almost there. Triceratops is still up. I hope that hasn't, like, reset his, like, torpor or whatever it's called. I hope he's still kind of affected by the drugs. Might as well just go for him now, you know what I mean? While he's fighting the Dilo. Did I seriously miss? Last Trank Arrow, I think. No, I got one more shot. One more shot. And then I have to hope that there's enough drugs in him to knock him down. He's down! Oh, that was perfect timing right there. Perfect timing. Okay. So now, let's start taming this dude. Okay, so how do I tame? I give him more narcotics to keep him unconscious. And then I just feed him berries, I think. Just drop berries in his inventory. Is this the start of a beautiful friendship? I'm not certain. Is it working? But 4% tamed? Yeah. Hello, mate. What am I going to call you? I think I'll call you Alfred. So that every time I come home, I can go, Alfred. You know, just like Batman. He hasn't been eating any of the narcotics. But I think he can wake up, as you can see by his conscious level. I've got a Dilophosaurus over there. Let, let's keep things away retroactively. Let's go to deliberate effort to hunt down predators. Let's not let them get near. Oh, I got him. Nice. Turns out I'm actually quite a good shot with the bow in this game. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dilo. Get away, Dilo. Get away. You're not hurting my boy. You're not hurting my baby boy. Quarter of the way there, 26.2%, 28.6%. He's still eating the berries. He seems pretty happy with them so far. This is generally taking a long time though, by the way. I'll be waiting here for like two minutes or so. So it could take like 10 minutes or so to actually just wait and protect this guy whilst he just slowly becomes tamed. But then he's mine forever. He's my best boy. Even more narco berry and some more purple ones right there. Okay. Uh, look at this. Uh, the unconscious is at maybe 45% complete and the taming is 50. So in theory, I should get this done. He should be fully tamed before he wakes up. 97%. Come on, guys. Come on. We're almost there. 97.6. We're gonna finally do it. Yee. Yes, we did it. We tamed our first dinosaur. Yes. Okay. Okay. Alfred. Alfred! Hey, mate! How are you doing, Alfred? Level 32, Alfred. Brilliant. Put the saddle on him. And, uh, equip it. Yes! 
<laughs> my beautiful boy. My beautiful, beautiful boy. Quickly, let's uh, get a nice screenshot of this dude. Here we go. Oh, using the NVIDIA Ansel right here. So I get like a super five times resolution shot of him. Oh, look at this beautiful boy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so kind of riding? E to ride. Yes! <laughs> I am literally riding the Triceratops right now. <laughs> oh my, look at the amount of berries and stuff I get. Sweat, I just got 30 narco berries in one bite. That took me like an hour to get. Well, maybe not an hour, but you know what I mean. Wow, this is going to speed everything up so much. Alfred, you're already my best friend in the whole world. He's a little bit on the slow side, but let's get it back to the base. And my Triceratops has leveled up. Okay, he's going He's going a bit slowly now. It's taken me ages just to get back to the base. Uh, let's go into his inventory. Oh, wow. Okay, he's got a lot. Uh, I'll take the narcotics back. You don't need them anymore. Oh, yeah, this is how we upgrade him. Uh, let's give him more weight. So he can carry more. Yes, Alfred. You're so happy. <laughs> Here we go, Alfred. This is where we live. We'll make you a proper pen and stuff very soon. With some water and feed troughs and stuff. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, put my feed trough down. Let's go and uh, pop that right there. There you go. This is where you can have your food. And uh, let's see what we can put in there. Let's put a load of these berries in there. I know you like berries. No, no, get off. Let's go and put a load of berries. And we'll get you some nicer food in the future as well. We'll get you kibble and stuff, Alfred. You are going to be the happiest dinosaur in the land. I think that's all the berries in there besides the narco berries. Yep, that's exactly right. Well, there we go, Alfred. You've got your food right here. You've got all the berries. You just went ahead and grabbed for me. You can go ahead and eat those whenever you want to. Uh, you're pretty full right now, but you should be able to just stay here pretty happily. Until the next video. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been awesome to go and finally get my very first tame in this game. And, you know, I've now got so many narco berries. Getting meat is going to be the next problem in order to make more drugs and stuff like that. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Remember to go ahead and check out all the cool Patreon people in the description below. I can make 14 narcotics. Wow. And remember to go ahead and become a Patreon member yourself if you want to support the channel and help keep the videos coming out. Or become a YouTube member where you can get early access to videos, you can get behind the scenes videos. Yes. Level up again. Thank you. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video where me and Alfred will go on some fantastic adventures. Bye-bye for now.